Hello everyone, today in this video on this channel we will fight against the Atmos character of our world around us and we will try to think why our current times are becoming more and more interesting. There is such common saying, some people say that it's course, some people attribute it to Chinese people, that they, uh, that they tend to say like this in the past, that I wish you lived in interesting times. Interesting times according to understanding of these people, are the times that correspond to historical peri period full of political changes, brutality, wars, catastrophes and so on. So briefly one, one could uh, say in a little bit malicious way, these times are interesting of the historians who are descendants of the people who survived these interesting but cruel times. Okay, so uh, now let's uh, try to think why our current times are becoming really more and more interesting. My private opinion about this uh, is as follows. People in recent years became more and more, especially in Western world, but not only, lazy. They stopped thinking on their own, independently. They rely on welfare state. Uh, they rely on help from outside like schooling systems officials uh, of course many uh, propaganda broadcasts that are served uh, every day to the to them in media their basic needs are satisfied even above the requirements because as of now still uh, the materialistic prosperity for the last 60 years of majority of the countries of the world is as high as it can be because of the uh, organized economy of the world in the western world but not only many people don't have to work because products of the products they need if they in their everyday life are, are delivered to them from the third countries in which these uh, products are cheaply produced now it's changing but uh, it, a few years ago it was still completely like this so people in the uh, uh, countries that can afford it because they have productions their company are produ companies are producing somewhere else uh, are working mainly in offices or are doing in many companies useless job just to do it and take money for it so life is good they live from one holidays to another from one entertainment to another from one visit to a restaurant to another spiritual life is also down so uh, such things, such state cannot last long and dampness and laziness also do not lead to things that are good. Of course, and in this country, people, people stop producing sufficient number of kids to replace the generations. It generates another socio-economical problems slowly coming, but coming all the time and growing constantly. Uh, also, uh, children are getting more and more lazy because they get everything, so, so they got more and more active, they do not want to put enough effort to gain knowledge, physical skills, and so on and so on. So, everything is slowly, if nothing changes, going into the complete collapse, as many good historians would say, especially one of my favorite American historian of Jewish origin, the pioneer of the studies of Sumerian civilization, new heroic age is being approached. What's heroic age? Age in which old civilizations collapse and uh, new civilizations arise. But before new civilization arise, there is a age of destruction, struggles, migrations, great changes, fire, war. So this is the age when real hero heroes arise, like King Arthur, semi-legendary, like uh, um, Trojan War, so King Arthur after the fall of the Roman Empire, uh, Trojan War, and he, its heroes after the fall of Bronze Age empires, and many, in every civilization, when such thing happened, also in Chinese civilization, we can find analogical periods, surprisingly, also chronologically, corresponding to the periods of the collapse in the different regions of the world from which we uh, have data 
to recreate these events to the events of the past to the sa satisfactory level. So, in my opinion, new uh, heroic age is approaching really quickly. There will be a reduction of population. There will be uh, a lot of change. And according to old Anglo-Saxon saying, future is being born uh, in the fire. So new future will be born and many heroes will arise before new civilization will be established. And that's why I am telling to you that for historians, for future generations who will be descendants of these of us who will survive this change, interesting times are approaching, so that is why our times are becoming more and more interesting and it's enough to just uh, reject media bullshit and look around what's happening. And we will see that our times are becoming more and more interesting. All the time uh, I'm seeing this uh, process ongoing and I would like to I would like you, all of you, to look around and enjoy the history, that it's big history, that recently started being written just on, on, our, on our eyes, one should say, or started being written just now, and people who want to see can observe it and enjoy it. All the time, all the best. Bye.